Here's a follow up now. Top leaders at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum say they're working to clean up clerical errors and financial man mismanagement after an audit found several problems. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. So, Mark, the museum handles more than $150 million in state property. A lot of value there, and uh, Paul, the museum and its nonprofit foundation are at odds over who's to blame for sloppy accounting, questionable purchases, and uh, risky loans of historic artifacts. The museum accusing the foundation of keeping secret books while paying top executives cushy salaries. The foundation pushing back and blaming the museum uh, management for the dysfunction and says they tried to evict them from the property in a state takeover. It's uh, been mismanagement at the library. State lawmakers grilled management at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum Tuesday morning after an audit found 15 problems in the agency. The agency did not maintain sufficient controls over its property and related fiscal records. Interim Executive Director Melissa Coltis says the museum is improving. Our executive team has been focused on establishing a strong commitment to transparency and accountability for the state of Illinois, taxpayers, and residents. But blamed part of the financial mismanagement on the nonprofit foundation that raises money for the museum. We're not entire, entirely clear on how much money they're bringing in to their operations in our name. These two organizations kind of bickering in the public's eye. There are hundreds of libraries and hundreds of foundations around the country that do this, I presume, all the time. Um, there should be a way for, for this to operate optimally and well here in Springfield. The museum and foundation can't agree on a new memorandum of understanding defining their relationship. If the two parties split, the foundation could take millions of dollars in historic Lincoln artifacts out. The audit found the museum had already issued some valuable items out on loan. When questions are answered like, are, are, are some of these items out on loan and, and how long have they been out on loan and have you got, when will you get them back or have you gotten them back and they don't know the answer to some of these things, you've got to be very concerned about that. Abraham Lincoln, probably the most popular president, his library should, should be ran appropriately. The signature item in that taper collection of historic artifacts was, of course, that Abraham Lincoln stovepipe hat. Historians later questioned if it ever even belonged to him. The foundation still owes $8.7 million to pay off the loan it took out to buy that collection of items. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCIA 3, your local news leader. A lot of questions left to be answered. Mark, I know you'll keep us updated. Thanks.